Hey, it's Chad Hasty, host of the Chad Hasty Show. The big news that erupted on Tuesday, President Donald Trump firing the FBI director, James Comey, in a letter from the White House. Uh, Donald Trump saying, that, Dear Director Comey, I have received the attached letters from the Attorney General and Deputy Attorney General of the United States recommending your dismissal as director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I have accepted their recommendation, and you are hereby terminated and removed from office effective immediately. Uh, Trump went on to say, well, I greatly appreciate you informing me on three separate occasions. You know, Trump has to get this in there. On three separate occasions that I am not under investigation, I nevertheless concur with the judgment of the Justice Department that you are not able to effectively lead the Bureau. Trump went on to write, it is essential that we find a new leadership for the FBI that restores public trust and confidence. It is vital uh, in, in the uh, in its vital law enforcement mission. Trump went on to end it with, "I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors." Uh, this came after the Deputy Attorney General uh, wrote a lengthy uh, lengthy uh, email and uh, memo for uh, not only the Attorney General but also for President Trump. Uh, saying that uh, basically the uh, director was uh, wrong on numerous occasions, um, th- that uh, the, there needs to be a change. Uh, this was uh, from Rod Rosenstein, uh, Deputy Attorney General. The Federal Bureau of Investigation has long been regarded as the nation's premier federal investigative agency. Over the past year, however, the FBI's reputation and credibility have suffered substantial damage, and it's affected the, affected the entire Department of Justice that is deeply troubling to many department employees, veterans, legislators, and citizens. The current FBI director is an articulate and persuasive speaker about leadership and the principles of the Department of Justice. He deserves our appreciation for his public service, as you and I have discussed. However, I cannot defend the director's handling of the conclusion of the investigation of Secretary Clinton's emails, and I do not understand his refusal to accept the nearly universal judgment that he was mistaken. Almost everyone agrees that the director made serious mistakes, it is one of the few issues that unites people of diverse perspectives. Uh, the, 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 the letter goes on, uh, from, uh, from the, uh, deputy attorney general, but basically, uh, just about everybody was, was tired of James Comey, it seems. Uh, there are going to be Democrats who, and I've already seen this play out on social media, who are saying that, uh, this is a, a witch hunt from the Trump administration, uh, that, uh, this is somehow uh, the Trump administration trying to cover stuff up. Of course, these are some of the very same Democrats who called for James Comey to be fired months ago, uh, right after the election and even during the election. So, uh, overall, I don't think that, uh, that Trump's going to take a hit on this. I think, uh, that, uh, people will be pretty okay, uh, with, uh, with what happened, uh, with James Comey and his firing. Um, who is going to be the next uh, director of the FBI? A lot of names already floating out there. Expect for Trump to find somebody pretty soon who will lead the FBI. Uh, but this is going to be a big news story going forward, a lot of different angles, and expect a lot of different stories and a lot of different leaks about not only James Comey, but also um, possibly Hillary Clinton and President Trump moving forward. So uh, be on the lookout for that, uh, definitely. Tune in to the Chad HD Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time. News Talk 95.1 FM, 790 AM KFYO. Um, in fact, uh, some of the names that are popping up, uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, I, I like this. This is wonderful. Uh, you've got David Axelrod, by the way, uh, who has already weighed in on Twitter saying that this is uh, a Nixonian from Donald Trump, that uh, that this didn't work out well for Nixon. It won't work out for Donald Trump or the country. 
Uh, Diane Feinstein weighing in, saying President Trump called me at 5.30, indicated that he would be removing Director Comey, saying the FBI needed a change. The next FBI director must be a strong and in, uh, strong and independent and receive a fair hearing in the Judiciary Committee. So uh, a lot of people weighing in on this. And uh, it'll be uh, interesting to see what uh, what happens. Expect the Democrats to absolutely flip out over this. But I guarantee you this: if Hillary Clinton would have won the presidency, James Comey would have been fired. I can I can guarantee you that uh, as well. Tune into the Chad HD Show weekday mornings, eight thirty to eleven a.m. Central Time. News Talk ninety five point one FM, seven ninety AM KFYO. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, Chad HD Radio. Have a great day. We'll talk on the radio.